All right, beginning our TSI math review for set. As a reminder, when you have a term squared, like for example, if we had x squared, that's the same as x times x. So we're going to rewrite this as 5x plus 3 times 5x plus 3. So we can go ahead and FOIL it. So now we're going to take this first term and multiply it times both of the terms in the other set of parentheses. So we'll get 25x squared and then 5x times 3 is plus 15x. Now we're going to do the same thing with the positive 3 here times both and we'll get plus 15x again. That's 3 times 5x and then 3 times 3 is a plus 9. So when you're multiplying um, two terms times two terms you should end up with four terms and then these two here in the middle are both x to the first power. So we're going to combine like terms and we'll get 25x squared plus 30x plus 9 is our final answer. <clears throat> For our next problem, we've got an algebraic expression here. So we're given these values for x, y, and z, and all we need to do is plug them in. So for x, I've got x squared, that's 2 squared plus y, y is negative 1, all over z squared, so z is 5, so 5 squared minus 4 times y. So now we just evaluate this, and now that the numbers have all been plugged in for the variables, so that'll be 4 plus negative 1 over 25 minus negative 4. So that's going to be plus 4, because this will be 25 minus negative 4, so plus positive. Okay, so we'll end up with 3 over 29. For this final problem, we're solving um, this equation. We need to distribute the 4 to both terms and then this 3 to both terms for our first step. We can't do anything with, the, with parentheses like this, so we have to do that distribution first. So we'll get 4y plus 28 equals 6y plus 24. Now, I'm going to move variables first. You can move whole numbers first, however you want, but I want to get the y's all to my left side. So I'm going to have negative 2y plus 28, just bringing that down, equals 24, bringing that one down, then the y's, 6y eliminated. And now I want to get the 2y term by itself, so I'm going to subtract 28 from both sides. So now I've got negative 2y equals negative 4. And now at this point, to get the y by itself, I'm just going to divide by whatever's next to the y. It's being multiplied by, so we divide by negative 2, and we'll get y equals 2.